Welcome to our morning devotions. We are bringing these to you knowing that some of you are not able to get our devotional booklets um, because they're delivered to the church. We are also giving it to you because we realize that many of you are taking walks and listening to things and we invite you to start your day with a word from God. And so I invite you to do these things each and every day as we live our Christian walk and faith. I will start every day by being open to the blessings that God is going to give me. I will realize every day that I am the face of God to everyone I meet. And I will end every day by thanking God for the blessings received and place into God's hands my worries and fears.
Today we read from Christ in Our Home edition, July, August, September 2020. Today is Thursday, July 2nd. We read from Romans chapter 7, verses 1 through 6. Do you not know, brothers and sisters, for I am speaking to those who know the law, that the law is binding on a person only during that person's lifetime? Thus, a married woman is bound by the law to her husband as long as he lives. But if her husband dies, she is discharged from the law concerning the husband. Accordingly, she will be called an adulteress if she lives with another man while her husband is alive. But if her husband dies, she is free from that law. And if she marries another man, she is not an adulteress. In the same way, my friends, you have died to the law through the body of Christ, so that you may belong to another, to him who has been raised from the dead, in order that we may bear fruit for God. While we were living in the flesh, our sinful passions, aroused by the law, were at work in our members to bear fruit for death. But now we are discharged from the law, dead to that which held us captive so that we are slaves, not under the old written code, but in the new life of the Spirit. Happy July 2nd. As is common, the church where I'm a member compiles an extensive annual report detailing many ways in which members share and live out the gospel. It prompts us to rejoice and give thanks that we belong to Him who has been raised from the dead in order that we may bear fruit for God. Because God transformed our lives through grace, we are empowered and moved to share that grace with the world in tangible ways. This doesn't mean that we are without sin. Indeed, at times, it impedes our ministry, which is disheartening. But following Paul's analogy in today's reading, because we are no longer married to the law, but are joined to Christ, we don't get stuck in those moments. Through Jesus' life, death, and resurrection at work in us, we exchange forgiveness and go on. We rejoice that the Spirit of Christ lives in each of us and among us, freeing us from our sinful passions to focus on doing God's work. God, thank you for the grace that overcomes our sin so we can bear fruit for Jesus' sake. Amen. <music> 